on the banks of the river Jamuna, Agra, the capital of Grand Mughals, the city of architectural grandeur, where the arts of painting, music and other arts flourished, attracting artists and artisans from all over. Under the munificent patronage of Shahan Shah Akbar, Hindustani classical music reached a paramount status. Drupad Damar idiom was the hallmark of classicism. In course of time, four stylistic variants of Drupad called Banis came into practice, such as Gaurhar Bani, Nohar Bani, Dagur Bani, and Khandar Bani. Nohar Bani was associated with master musicians from the Nohar Rajput clan, the ancestors of the Agra Garana. When the Agra Garana Khayal came into being, naturally, the elements of Nohar Bani Drupad were transferred to the Agra Garana Khayal. Thus, the Agra Gharana Khayal is a rich blending of the Gwalior Khayal and the Nohar Bani Drupad. And Agra was the deciding place of several great musicians, but of this particular tradition, Agra was the center. And that is how the Gharana was associated with, by the name Agra. I think it is an accepted convention that many of the Gharanas generally were given the name of the place of their origin and the residence of their stalwarts who developed the style and the treasure of ragas and compositions. Even before the gharanas as such, as such started, there were different traditions under one canopy of Hindustani music as we call it now. लेकिन अपने अपने घराने की चाल चलन है डागर वाले कैसे गाते हैं आगरा वाले कैसे गाते हैं किराने ऐसे बहुत से घराने अलग अलग अपनी गायकी क्रोनोलॉजिकली आगरा घराना इज द ओल्डेस्ट एंड डेट्स बैक टू नायक गोपाल हु वाज परसुएटेड बाय अमीर खुसरू सो द लेजेंड गोस टू कम टू दिल्ली However, the first Muslim name that we find is that of Haji Sujan Khan. Jo Sujan Das ke naam se pehle mashhoor the, wo bhi Dhrupad ke gaayak the, Tansen ke vakht mein. Who was patronized by the Emperor Akbar and was made much of. In fact, he was given the title of Deepak Jyot because of his mastery of the Deepak Rag. He was also given several villages around Gondpur near Agra. The uh, Drupad uh, in the Rag Jog, Pratham Man Allah, is credited to Haji Sujan Khan. In the Rag Jog and Tal Chautala. The wordings are Pratham Amana Allah, Jin Racho Noor Paak, Nabi Ji Pai Rakh Iman, Aire Sujan, Din Antara, Waliyan Man Shahe Mardan, Tahir Man Sayyada, Imam Man Hasanayan, Deen Man Kalma. Kitab Man Quran. This is the composition. And with great respect, 
the Agra Gharana, stalwarts and new ones to this day, this is a very respected composition. However, we have to come down to the recent times, that is the last 300 years of Khayal Gaiki, because Agra Gharana has been noted, has been noted not only for Dhrupad and Dhamar, but also for its Khayal tradition. The most important name in the Agra Gharana is, of course, that of Ustad Fayyaz Khan. But we have to go back in time to the early 18th century, to Ustad Khudabaksh, was the first man who imported Khayal into Agra. Late 18th century, when our घराने के बुजुर्ग शाम रंग साहब जिनके चार बेटे थे उनके एक बेटे गग्गे खुदा वक्ष जिनका नाम था जब वो ग्वालियर चले गए ख्याल की गायकी का अध्ययन करने के लिए तब से हमारे गायकी का एक ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन हुआ वो दिस खुदा बख्श वॉज एंडाउड विथ अ टेरेबल वॉयस इनफैक्ट ही वॉज जनरली नोन एज घग्गे खुदा बख्श एन ऑब्जेक्ट ऑफ डिरीशन एंड लाफ्टर ऑफ द एंटायर आगरा क्लैन He got so fed up that he left Agra and uh, journeyed to Gwalior, and there he learnt from Nathan Pir Baksh for as many as fourteen years. It's necessary at this stage to mention that the Khayal Gaiki that we are talking of is roughly about three hundred years old, and the parent. Gharana is the Gwalior Gharana. Oddly enough, Gwalior Gharana imported Khayal from Lucknow. It was in Nawab Asaf Uddaullah's time that his court musician Gulam Rasool was the person who really could be called the father of the present Khayal Gaiki. He had two sons-in-law, Shakkar Khan and Makhan Khan, who were generally known as the Kawal Bachchas, and that is why the Gwalior Gaiki, in the earlier stages, was known as the Kawal Bachchok Gaiki. It would be interesting to note that Gulam Rasool Khan also had a son called Gulam Nabi. who is known as Shorimiya the father of the Tappa Gaiki in fact he went to Punjab studied the folk music of Punjab from the camel drivers and gave it a sophisticated form this also was exported by Shorimiya to Gwalior which accounts for the closeness of the Gwalior Gaiki With Tappa, we will go back to Khudabaksh now. जब वो वापस आए, तो उन्होंने एक ऐसी गायकी का आविष्कार किया, जो एक एक तरह से कमाल की गायकी बनी, जिसमें जितने ध्रुपद धमार के अंग थे, जो उन्होंने पहले ग्रहण किए थे, वो तो सब थे ही, पर उसके साथ साथ ख्याल गायकी के जितने नए अंग थे वो भी उन्होंने उनमें मिश्रण किया उसका सब्सिक्वेंटली खुदा बख्श माइग्रेटेड टू द कोर्ट ऑफ जयपुर एंड सेटल डाउन देयर विद येट अनादर ग्रेट नेम उस्ताद बैराम खां ऑफ द डागर क्लैन हवेवर उस्ताद खुदा बख्श 
taught his nephew Sher Khan and his two sons, Ustad Ghulam Abbas Khan and Kallan Khan. Sher Khan's descendants settled down in Bombay, one of whom, the great Ustad Nathan Khan, also became the court musician of Mysore. This is the Bombay branch of the Agra Gharana. Agra Gharana ki gra gai ki ko teen branches mein rakha gaya hai. Ustad Fayyaz Khan sahab rangile gharane ke pritiniti thi. Ustad Vilayat Hussain Khan sahab Agra Gharane ke pritiniti maane jate thi. Atta Hussain Khan sahab, Sharafat Khan sahab, ये सब अतरोली वाले माने जाते थे। अतरोली इस स्मॉल टाउन नियर अलीगढ़। इट्स कॉल्ड द कश्बा ऑफ अलीगढ़। मेनी उस्ताद स्टेड इन अतरोली। ड्यूरिंग द पीरियड ऑफ नथन कासाब, नथन कासाब मैरिड इनटू द फैमिली ऑफ अतरोली। ही मैरिड द सिस्टर ऑफ मेहबूब कासाब, दैट इस दरसपिया। and from then on, there has been a lot of intermarriage between the two families and a lot of interaction and interchange of ideas and music and bandishes. So in that way, the two uh, gharanas have merged. But if we go back to history, we find that uh, a truly gharana actually followed not Naharbani, but Gauhar Bani, which was the Bani of Tansin. Agra Gharana originally is a Drupad tradition. Khayal came to Agra Gharana later. Their Bani was called Nauhar. So, Agra Gharana Khayal is also associated with the Nauhar Bani of Drupad. Rangila Gharana is also an allied Gharana. Fayyaz Khan Sahib was born into Rangila Gharana. Uh, Rangila Gharana came into limelight with Ramzan Khan Rangile, who was Fayyaz Khan Sahib's paternal grandfather's brother. They stayed in Sikandarabad and they followed the uh, Gauharbani style in Drupad. Actually, all these gharanas used to, the singers used to sing Drupad and Dhamar at one time. And during the reign of uh, Mahmud Shah Rangile, from thereafter, Khyal became popular and all the gharanas started composing Khyals. Mia Rangile composed a number of well known Khyals which are sung by every gharana today. Mehbub Khan gave his daughter to Ustad Fayyaz Khan. Mehbub Khan Daraspiya's sons, Atta Hussain Khan and Bande Hassan Khan, were Gandavan disciples of Ustad Fayyaz Khan. And the grandson of Mehbub Khan, Sharafat Hussain Khan, who grabbed the headlines till recently, was a disciple of Ustad Fayyaz Khan. So, for our limited purpose, we will not make any distinction between the Atroli clan and the Agra clan. They really uh, are one. Now, to go back to the first recorded music of any Agra Gharana member, that is Zohra by Agrewali, who was a craze till the late 20s was a disciple of Ustad Sher Khan, Ustad Kallan Khan, and Daras Pia, Ustad Mahbub Khan. She also learned from an outsider, Ustad Ahmad Khan of Dhaka. Point to be noted is the closeness of Zohrabai's Gaiki 
to Gwalior, the long means, the upaj, the manner in which she does her vistar in Gorsarang, in the Vilawal Ang. We now play Kedara in Drutiktal, Chatar Sugarabhaiya. simple are in the true Agra tradition, that is the tans follow the rhythm of the tabla as well as the contour of the rag. Agra Gharana and Jaipur Gharana were very, very particular about following the Ra group, even in the Drut portions, even in the Tans. So, this is the Agra Gharana. I think that the Agra Gharana is a very important thing. The Agra Gharana is a very important thing. The Agra Gharana is a in Agra Gharana, rag is not treated as just a aro and an avro, or you don't uh, do the alap taking one note, then two notes, then three notes, like in the Merkhand Padati, but you take a rag as a living form. Yani uske ek roop ho, ek uh, uh, pratima ho, and you take the base of that and then develop around it. If Zorabai was the Taj Mahal, then Fayyaz Khan was the Fatehpur Sikri with its Buland Darwaza. Fayyaz Khan strode the North Indian musical scene like a colossus till his death on November 5, 1950. And those who heard him in his prime certainly thought he was the musician of the century. Fayaz Khan sahab ka ek speciality jo tha ki wo koi cheez ko chhodte nahi the kareeb kareeb dhupad se lekar bing ka ang se rabab ka ang phir khayal ka ang phir tappa ka ang phir thumri It's unfortunate we cannot play any of his records which would give a precise idea of the voice, its timber, its richness, its coloration of tone. For the simple reason, he belonged to the pre-electronic age. In fact, the records of Ustad Fayyaz Khan's music virtually on his deathbed. Apart from his voice, he was the first Ustad, who felt the need for alap or vistar in khayal. Fayyaz Khan was the first musician who felt the need for it. And he linked the Drupad Nom Tom alap to his khayal, with his khayal. In fact, he used to sing the alap for a long time, followed by a dhamar, and then he would come to khayal. Later on, of course, he often did without the dhamar, the rag purvi. Yeah, yeah. 
Kindly note the long meads in the true Drupa tradition, the exposition of the raga, not in the Mirkhand manner as it is favored nowadays in the Kirana Gaiki, but with due emphasis on the ragang or the main phrases of the rag. After the Vilambit Alap, he would come to the Drutalap or the Jor. Uh, Pandit Ravi Shankar mentions. <laughs> चीज को पसंद करता था लेकिन मुझे खास जो अच्छा लगता था वो सबसे पहले उनका जोड़ा अंग मुमतुम अंग और उसका जो कितना वैरायटी वो करते थे वो बहुत पसंद था मुझे वी विल नाउ प्ले राग ललित to be noted is the dhavat of Lalit, which is neither Shuddha nor Komal. It is generally known as the Sahakari dhavat. Ustad Atta Hussain Khan Zalap in Darbari. Ustad Atta Hussain Khan, apart from being a Gandavan disciple of Ustad Fayyaz Khan was also taught by the great Daraspia, Atta Hussain Khan's father. fast indeed. This alap is actually followed by dhamar. Therefore, this also is in the true Drupad tradition. After Ustad Atta Hussain Khan, one of the recent big names of the Agra Gharada, namely Sharafat Hussain Khan. Sharafat Khan sahab, sabhi log jante hain ki wo to child prodigy the, was brilliant. And his uh, initial talim was from Fayyaz Khan sahab, Dhrupad Thamar Khyal. And since he was so clever and so brilliant, he picked up everything very quickly. By the age of 12, 14, 15, 
he could sing rags like Darbari, Rafi Kanada, Barwa, Puriya, like a master. Sharafat Hussain Khan sahab, our guru bhai bhi the, guru bhi the. Or guru bhai the, isliye unke saath to, right from the beginning, I was in touch with him, and uh, he helped me out whenever it was necessary. In fact, a thousand Khan sahab kehte the ki punima ko sara bata do. तो उन्होंने बहुत कुछ हमें बताया कैसे प्रेजेंट करना है गाने को पब्लिक में और एग्जांपल देते थे कि देखो जो तुम गा रही हो घर में वो तो ही रहा है तुमने सीखा मामा जी से इतने अच्छे तालीम मगर उसमें जो असर होना चाहिए वो नहीं हो रहा है क्यों कि उसके जो प्लेसिंग है वो इसी तरह से करना चाहिए जैसे कि एक हीरा तुम्हारा जो हीरा तुमने प्रेजेंट किया है एक ऐसी मामूली कागज के ऊपर मगर उसी को आ, तुम आ, एक नील वेलवेट के ऊपर ब्लू वेलवेट के ऊपर रखो तो देखो कैसे चमकेगा वही है किस तरह से अच्छी चीज को भी अच्छी तरह से पेश करना चाहिए द वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पार्ट ऑफ आवर ख्याल म्यूजिक नेमली द कॉम्पोजिशन the manner in which the bandish or the composition has to be rendered bandishon ko pesh karne ka tarika jisko hum kehte hain adaygi bandishe to achhi achhi bahut gharanon mein mil jati hain sab gharanon mein milti hain agre gharane ki bandish halaki bahut hi prasiddh hai bahut famous hai lekin keval bandish hi ki tareef nahi hoti लेकिन बंदिश को किस तरह से पेश किया जाता है उस बंदिश के जो बोल हैं उनको किस तरह से उन बोलों पे जोर दिया जाता है उसमें एक एक ऐसा एस्थेटिक सेंस डाला जाता है उन बोलों को लय से किस तरह से मिश्रण करते हैं लय के छंदों में इसी में कलाकार की खूबसूरती है कलाकार की जो एक स्किल है वो जाहिर होती है दिस अगेन कैन बी डेमोन्स्ट्रेटेड बाय उस्ताद फैयाज खान राग जय जयंती when he sings a bandish he does not sing it in a wooden manner not as if it's something which has to be sung from memory there are embellishments there are nuances there is his inimitable manner it develops a new complexion a new colorful personality many people ask me as to why each ustad of the agra garana sang differently that's a very important point actually the ustads learned from their gurus either from atroli or agra or rangila in time they formed their own gaiki they were not encouraged to copy but later on they were encouraged to create their own style so we find ustad atasin khan sahab ustad latafat hussain khan sahab ustad sharafat hussain khan sahab ustad yunus hussain khan sahab all singing the agra troli style yet one could make out that they ha- they had their distinct personality distinct way of presenting and they all had contributed to the greater gharana music 
The next important name is that of Ustad Latafat Khan. <laughs> استاد لطافت خان صاحب جب میری زندگی میں آئے تو درباغی وش اس وقت تک ان کی آواز دیمیج ہو چکی تھی لیکن اس کے باوجود بھی ان کے گائکی میں ایک آگرے گھرانے کی ایک ایسی خوبصورت جھلک تھی ایک ایسی نزاکت تھی آگرے گھرانے کی जो और किसी आगरे घराने के कलाकार फैयाज खान साहब के बाद किसी के गायकी में वो खूबसूरती नहीं मिली। In our music, it is possible to captivate the audience even without a voice which is appealing. Here is an example of that. From Latafat Hussain Khaz, Gara Kanara. We now come to an essential part of the Khyal Gaiki, namely Bahilawa. This is what may be termed as a Drut Vistar with the help of Larajdar Tans and Meads. A small example from Ustad Fayyaz Khaz, Raag Kamot. This Bahilawa of Ustad Fayyaz Khan is very, very akin to the Bahilawa of Gwalior, which has been disappearing, which certainly was diluted later on, and which has almost disappeared now in the Agra Gaiki. I had my education when I was eight years old. My grandma, Padma Bhushan Ustad Khadi Mishan Khan Sahib, and I had उसके बाद मेरे पिताजी उस मशहूर सितार नवाज उस साथ शमी मेहमत खासाब और मेरे अंकल भाई उस तार जमाने जो जिन खासाब से ले रहा हूँ और हमारे घराने में भेलावा का गाना बजाना अभी भी जिंदा है और उसको हम बरकरार रखेंगे जिंदा रखेंगे। People often say that the Agra Gaiki is not meant for ladies, for female musicians. Well, we have given you. The example of Zora by Agrewali. Not that there is anyone left in the country today to teach how Zora by used to sing. But here is Purnima Sen, who has had the good fortune of learning from Ustad Vilayat Hussain Khan of the Bombay branch, Ustad Atta Hussain Khan of the Atrawli branch and Ustad Sharafat Hussain Khan. There was another prominent lady singer of the Agra Gharana, Malka Jan Agrewali. She lived in Calcutta and took talim of Khyal from Ustad Fayyaz Khan Sahib when he was in the city. She also took talim of Tumri from 
Ustad Mojuddin Khan Sahab. It is said that Mojuddin Khan Sahab's Tumri style influenced both Malkajan and Ustad Fayyaz Khan Sahab. ये साल है 1999 का और हम पन्ने पलट रहे हैं और हम वापस जा रहे हैं 1930 1936 37 चले जाते हैं फैयाज खान से हमने तालीम पाना शुरू कर दिया कि मैं नहीं सोचती कि और कोई लड़की ने उनसे तालीम पाई होगी पैसे मैंने सीखा तो बहुत बहुत लोगों से आगे लग घराने से जैसे कि फैयाज खान से तो सीखा ही है तसबह हुसैन से भी फिर वशीर खान से भी फिर असद अली से भी विलायत हुसैन खान से भी सैकड़ों माय फर्स्ट इंट्रोडक्शन टू म्यूजिक वाज थ्रू पंडित रामराव नायक हु वाज रेसिडेंट इन बेंगलोर एंड ही वाज द डिसाइपल ऑफ उस्ताद अता हुसैन खान साहब mainly Swami Vallabhdas and also from Ustad Fayyaz Khan Sahib of the Agra Ghaiki. I learned from Ustad Khadim Hussain Khan Sahib. It was a great privilege to learn from him because he was a musician's teacher. My guru, Pandit Shri Krishna Narayan Ratan Jankar, he was a pupil of Ustad Fayyaz Khan also. And his guru, Pandit Bhakkandi, had sent him there for five more than five years he remained in Badoda. So he was a disciple of Tatiaska. From him we used to come to know some things. And his one sentence I always remember here. Suro se lado mati, pyar karo. This was his sentence which I always remember. Agra Gaiki is a male Gaiki predominantly. Uh, how would women singers uh, uh, follow the Gaiki? To that, Vilayat uh, Hussain Khasab replied that a woman should sing a, uh, like a woman. She should be feminine, that's all. When it started, I had to say that this is a woman for women, not for women. क्योंकि हाँ ये तो लड़कियों के बस का नहीं तब क्या करें जब सीखना शुरू किया तो फिर हाँ इसको कुछ बुलायम करना था हाँ तो मैंने भी ऐसा करना शुरू किया लेकिन एक अच्छी बात ये थी कि क्योंकि इसमें फर्क आ गया शैली में लेकिन उन्होंने मुझे डांटा नहीं अताहुसन खान साहब बहुत बड़े गुनी थे and he also insist, insisted that I sing in the feminine manner. The gaiki jo unhone humare liye form kar diya, unhone hi kiya, unhone hi bataya ki, dekho, zada alap or zada jor taan ya zada laikari ladies ke liye itna achha nahi lagta hai. Khadim Hussain Khan Zahab's teaching style, he brought in the angs of bol banav, bol bant, and Laikari especially. He had a fantastic feel for Lai and he would go in and out through the Lai, off the Lai, back again. Mm -hmm. 
It was absolutely fantastic to learn from him. And he always said, Kabi bhi bithao mati, kyunki lai mein bithana bekar hai, lai hawa hai. Agar aa jai to phir aamad se aani chahiye, agar saam pe nai aaya to bhi koi parwa nahi. Magar agar tum bithao ghi to pura maza chala jai. Or jaysi ki dousre gharan mein sapartan lete te, humare gharan mein itna sapartan nahi liya ja sakta. Kyun? Vajay ye hai ki hum sab ka awaz bhoat bhaari. Aa, aa, cha, hmm. जैसे आप देखेंगे इतना सुरीला इतना पतला नहीं था तो जितना अच्छा पतले पतले आवाज में जो आप निकाल सकते हैं नहीं आता मैंने आपको करके दिखाया नहीं हो सकता पहले एक गाना लेती हूँ वशिष्ठ खान का चूड़िया बार बार कर कहीं चूड़िया बार बार कर कहे चुड़िया चुड़िया बार बार कर कहे ले सूरज नवार बिहारे बोलन बिना ले सूरज नवार बहुत बहुत मुलायमियत से वजह कहाँ कह रहे जैसे कि ले सूरज नवार ऐसे नहीं ले सूरज नवार क्योंकि मर्दाना स्टाइल है महिलावा इस फॉलोड in Agra Gaiki by Boltans. Bart and Boltans. These, that is Bart, the rhythmic division of the lay with, with the help of words, has come directly from Dhamar. And Agra Gharana musicians have always favored Dhamar and Dhrupad, apart from Khyal. In fact, I doubt whether a single Ustad had come straight to Khyal in his younger days. It was mandatory for him to learn Dhrupad and Dhamar first. Like all of us are learning Tanpura and Didi, and all of us are learning Bakaad. We didn't learn that. We went to 1942, so we didn't learn that song. So I went to Sharawat Hussain Khan, Yunus Hussain Khan. ये लोग तो सीखने वाले हैं उनसे मजदूर तो सेना कहाँ पढ़ने में थे तो उनका तरीका ये था कि जनरली रात को वो बैठते थे आठ बजे अपने पलंग पर बैठे हुए हैं और मैं उन्होंने कहा हाँ भाई बैठ जाओ लड़को सीख लो तो हम लोग बैठ गए तानपुर ले लिया और हमने भाई शुरू हो गए हाँ भी ज़्यादातर वो धुरपत सिखाते थे उस ज़माने में लोग तो धुरपत बड़े अच्छे अच्छे सिखाए फैया खाजा में लेकिन ख्याल भी सिखाया मिसाल तौर पर ये बहुत उन्होंने बागे सिखाए जैसे सकी मन लागे या सुबह का है भंकार है एक अर्थात मैं सुनाता हूँ आपको करता इस तरह से उन बोलों को लय के छंदों में हम मिलाते हैं ये बहुत ही कुशलता की बात है और ये इससे एक गायक की गुण का असली टेस्ट होता है। The most famous composer of the Agra Gharana, of course, was the great Daraspia, Ustad Ata Hussain Khan's father and the father-in-law of Ustad Fayyaz Khan. Here is a composition in the Rag Sohani of the Raspiya, sung by Ustad Shafi Ahmad Khan, one of the few remaining Ustads of the Agra Gharana today. <laughs> 
Compositions of Ustad Yunus Hussain Khaz. Shana. Yunus Khan Sahib, on the other hand, had learned a lot from Ajmat Hussain Khan Sahib of Atholi Gharana. He was his mama. And uh, his style was not as slow as Sharafat Kasab's, but he was more famous, I think, because he composed a number of bandishes in many ragas like Pad Bihag, in uh, Sujani Malhar, and so on. Just like or logon ne seva ki sangeet ki agar ghrane mein, usi tarikhe se mere pita ji ustad Yunus Hussain Kasab mein, jo ki karib 30 saal agar ghrane ke khalifa bhi rahe. ولایت حسین خان صاحب نے جیسے کتاب لکھی سنگی تگیوں کے سنس پرانی اسی طرح سے ہمارے پتا جی استاد یونس حسین خان صاحب نے دو کتابیں لکھیں پہلی کتاب ان کی تھی آگرہ گھرانہ ان دا میوزیکل انوائرنمنٹ آف انڈیا اس کے بعد انہوں نے ایک کتاب اور لکھی جس میں انہوں نے حضرت امیر خسرو کا جو انڈین کلاسیکل میوزیک میں اسپیریوچل جو ان کا ایک یوگدان ہے جو میوزیکل کانٹریبیوشن ہے ان کا ہندوستان میں اس کو انہوں نے اپنی اس کتاب میں درشایا ہے بندشیں تو خیر انہوں نے بہت ساری بنائی لیکن نو راگ جو انہوں نے بنائے میں ان کا تھوڑا سا علیک یہاں کرنا چاہتا ہوں نام دینا چاہتا ہوں سجانی ملہار دیو یانی للیتا سونی نٹ دیپک حسینی بہرو نف بہاگ نوہار ٹوڑی ملوہ بہاگ اور جوگ ونتی ایک دسکاشن آن آگرہ گھرانز گائے کی will be incomplete without an analysis of taans in the Agra Gaiki, linear taans, which often tended to distort the raga. That is, linear taans are all right in Sampurna ragas, but in the case of Sankirna ragas, where the path of the development of the raga is tortuous. It is necessary that the Taan should also follow that particular route. It would not be proper to use linear Taans. This is the reason why the Agra Gharana Ustads favored the double and the triple notes in Taans. کہ سنگل تان لینے سے راگ صحیح نہیں رہتا اور یہی وجہ ہے کہ اور جو خاندان ہیں وہ جو اس قسم کے راگ ہیں جیسے غارہ کانڈا ہے یا نٹ بہا گئے یا ناکی کانڈا اس کو زیادہ نہیں گاتے آگرہ گھرانے نے پھر یہ کیا کہ جو اس قسم کے راگ ہیں ان کو نے یہ کیا کہ ڈبل تبل اتانے رکھیں تاکہ راگ بگڑے نہ اور صحیح رہے سارے گا اب یہ راگ اس قسم کا ہے کہ اس میں سنگل لے سکتے ہیں ہم لیکن اب درباری یہ نائکی کانڈا ہے اب درباری کانڈا اگر ہمیں سارے تو 
अब सिंगल हम ताल लेते सारे गा पा तो वो राग सही ने तो ये डबल डबल में राग सही रहता है आवर सिस्टम ऑफ म्यूजिक इज डिफरेंट फ्रॉम अदर सिस्टम्स द यूरोपियन म्यूजिक और द चाइनीज म्यूजिक इन टू रिस्पेक्ट्स वन इज द म्यूड द अदर इज द श्रुति in other words when we sing we don't jump from one note to another we glide from one note into another note this is particularly difficult in the case of tans in the case of dhrupad alap drut alap gamaks are used with the help of consonants but tans except in bol tans tans consist of vowels therefore it is necessary to use meads and gamaks in the case of tans baat ye hai ki actually gaane mein jo khas apne fayyaz khata ne alap rakha usme zyada gamak ka unhone kaam dikhaya misal taur par jaise abhi maine darbari gaya ya main ab lalit rehta hu to usme gamak ka wo hai मीट का भी बहुत काम है आलाप के अंदर तो मैं थोड़ा सा आलाप तय हूँ ताकि आपको एक अंदाज़ा हो जाए Jaipur concentrated on moods in between notes whereas Agra Gharana Ustads concentrated on gamaks Ustad Fayaz Khan's tans and drut khayals were not confined only to the barabar lai gamak tans he often used to favor tappa ang tans which he used to say he had imbibed from ustad tanras khan the last great ustad of the delhi gharana he had taken this ang and he had developed it here is an example from Ustad Fayyaz Khan's Kapar Gauri. <laughs> after ustad fayyaz khan the person who really developed a new variety of tans is ustad vilayat husain khan who had 41 gurus but the person who influenced him most in the matter of tans was ustad aladia khan of the jaipur gharana Singing had a grandeur 
in the alap structure of the rag was taken full care of and the style was such that even in the form like an architectural structure there is a blueprint and up to the quick fast movements patterns of tanas the rag structure was made khas aap ke apne jo gaay ki bahut hi bold and clear and he had a particular style of his own and uh, he sang many a prachalit and achhop ragas as easily as he sang common ragas uh, ragas like raisa kanada uh, dhanasri and many others actually after he sang these ragas they became known to people people came to know what the form was really like one of his compositions in kokka bilawal in that i have tried to project some of the tans of kasab's uh, particular style tero rang ro pachava de खास चीज़ है मैंने आपको बता दिया आगरे घराने के पुकार इनकी खूबी है पुकार इफ यू जस्ट टॉक ऑफ पुकार इट इज कॉलिंग लाइक हाउ वुड यू कॉल समबडी हु इज एट अ डिस्टेंस ए और हेलो और समथिंग लाइक दैट इन अ लाउड वॉइस एंड हाउ वुड यू यूज दिस इन गायकी और इन अ ख्याल टू एनहेंस द इमोशनल कंटेंट फयाज खान साहब हैज यूज इट पुकार की खूबसूरती जो फयाज खान साहब की थी उनकी आवाज ऐसी बुलंद थी इतनी पावरफुल आवाज थी कि वो पुकार का अंग इतनी खूबसूरती से करते थे कि रोम पे खड़े हो जाते थे एक श्रोता के उस वक्त conclusion i have to mention that no other gaiki is so complete in all respects as the agra gaiki agra gaiki presents all the eight angas the ashtanga of khyal gaiki vistar or alap naiki of bandesh that is the manner in which the guru has imparted the composition to the disciple gai ki ang of bandesh in other words the same bandesh is rendered in a different manner after the nai ki ang has been sung with the help of the singer's own imagination this is followed by bahlawa which no doubt is imported from gwalior this is followed by bol baat taken from dhamar followed by bol tans which is the singular contribution of the agra gharana 
This is followed by Drut Khyals, Bol Banana, Bol Tans, and Tans. Even the Tans offered are of a much richer variety than those favored by other gharanas. This is precisely the reason why such a difficult, such a complete gaiki, which at one stage dominated the whole of northern India, that is in Ustad Fayyaz Khan's time. Agra Gharana is going through a lean phase now because the Ustads have all gone and uh, there, is, there seems to be no uh, reigning uh, master as yet. But I don't think Gharanas or music are that shallow that they will die with the death of a few musicians. Now, in Agra Gharana, we have to say that 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 we have مثال طور پر یا مسٹر کچلو ہیں دیوالی ناگ جی ہیں یہ ہے مسز راؤ ہیں للیتا راؤ ہیں نہیں بہت سو پچاسوں ایسے لوگ ہیں جو گھر ہیں یہ ہمارے گھرانے یہ عقیل صاحب ہیں یہ شبیر صاحب کے انتقالوں کے وہ تھے اب یہ ہیں محسن ہیں راجہ میاں ہیں ناصر حسین ہیں شوغت حسین ہیں ان کو بلائیے لوگ جو ہیں بمبئی میں ہیں یہ احمد آباد میں ان کو سنیے پرم باجے بری कैसे कर तुमरे पास Die-hard Agra Gharana uh, musicians who are going to continue practicing their style, irrespective of whether they are able to sing in public, they are not able to sing in public. As long as the gaiki and the chizas and the wealth of the gharana remains with them and there are students to learn, they will continue and Agra has a great future ahead. <laughs>
Wow. Uh-huh. 